Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin Daily Update and Ethereum as well. We are going to see the next targets and of course before we begin, do not forget to join our monthly subscription. Links in the description box and in the comment section. You can either join Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto, buy me a coffee or buildmindyourcrypto.com. You will get amazing benefits including an automated system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell. Altcoins will soon get higher so you are going to get amazing profits. Of course you are going to have educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis, market updates, live trading, a manual system, unique manual system with over 90% win ratio and many many other benefits. Benefits. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's go to Bitcoin right now. This was an expected correction. What I mean by expected correction is that we were seeing on the daily frame for Bitcoin a correction going on because first of all, we found the 20 day MA as a resistance level. Secondly, we had the rising wedge pattern with higher lows, higher highs after a correction right here. You can see Okay, so after we had the higher lows and then from the rising wedge, this is a bearish pattern that you drop down again. The only question right here we have to ask ourselves is can we go and drop down further? Where are we going? And so on. We are going to discuss all of this. The second thing, the third thing actually you were looking at is that possibly we have a very weak Bitcoin because when the stochastic are side, either it is on the daily frame or on the 4 hour frame, we do not care. When the stochastic RSI is going upwards in an overbought situation right there, above the 80, but at the same time, we are having the other risk metrics floating around near an oversold situation, just like the Commod Channel Index or the Relative Strength Index, then this is bearish. Always remember that, okay? When you do not see a crazy nice price action and all the other risk metrics are bearish, then Bitcoin is bearish as well and we are going certainly down. The thing right here is, should you be scared about this correction right now? Can we have a crash down to the 30 from the 34.7k, from the 34.5 towards the 33 and so on? Can we get down to the levels of 30k? And what is the flat running pattern that everyone talks about? Is Are people on the YouTube biased or not? We are going to answer all of this stuff right there. First of all, what I want to say is that the flat running pattern consists of a higher high, okay, and a higher low pattern. And it is a bullish pattern, that means that from there we are going to start making a higher low, higher high. I do not believe this will happen because I will explain why. I'm not into the bearish, the extreme bearish side. However, I will explain my thoughts for you. Right now on the monthly frame, we have a bearish RSA divergence. Okay, so you can see right here, bearish RSA divergence, bearish RSA divergence constant from the 2013 as well. This is something else that you should be keeping in your mind. We are getting constant bearish RSA divergence as well. But here we have within a cycle, we have two bearish RSA divergence and we are on a bearish market. I do not want to hear out again that we are not in a bearish market. We are in a bearish market. We are not yet in a bearish market cycle okay but we are in a bearish market for sure i am on bitcoin on all time history you can find easily if you type btc all time history you can see right here you will get this index and you can see from 2011 and after but let's go back to bitcoin usdt okay so what we are going to do right now is we are going to see for example on the four hour frame where are we going can we go in even lower or on the daily frame as well are we so bearish that we are going to lose all support levels and go even further down i feel like many short positions will be taking on right now but i do not feel they will be i do not feel that they will be filled up however yeah that's what i want to say they won't be going so down i think many short positions will be taken with losses and i will explain my thoughts on that first of all what we have right now is that we hold the 33k this was the last support level of the ganfan if you remember the previous market updates the 81 ganfan line and what i feel like is that we are going to see a crazy nice swing high towards the 46 47k some theories are going to 50k Okay, yeah, could be the case, but anyway, I feel like we are going towards the 46-47k, but afterwards, we are going to drop down, and I do not feel like we are going to approach the 69k anytime soon, I have to tell you the truth, right? 
as I'm seeing many bullish patterns, okay, including on the weekly frame, yes, we have the commodity channel index in an oversold in which we have only saw the uh, we we have seen this just a few times in the history. Okay, we have the stochastic or say also in an oversold situation right here. You can see back then when we approach the zero on the stochastic or say we are just going to have a swing high. Okay, yes, we are seeing that all this stuff right there, but at this moment, but this rate right there, um, we have some bearish moments as well where we have the constant bearish or say divergences both on the weekly and on the monthly frame and what i feel like and what i think it will happen is that we can go potentially even higher but at the end of the day what we should be careful about is that yes we can have the swing high however what i feel it will happen is that we are not going to have the swing high towards the 69k i will explain what are the next price targets and why do i have the next price targets we are going back to ethereum against usdt there you can see on the ethereum we had bearish or say divergences as well you can see back from 1st april 2021 to 1st august and to the 1st november bearish or say divergence all the way i feel like ethereum is going to go down probably maybe to 2200 again we will see about that if bitcoin starts now its way upwards then the 2300 should be the case and 2156 should be the lowest for ethereum it is just that ethereum against bitcoin it is underperforming that's why i think that and i feel like it should be going a little bit even lower on the time being um you can see that ethereum is dropping more eventually going even further down while well, we have the support levels of 1700 from the 2nd and 15th 16th 17th june i do not think that we are going to get there now but we are going to see also how bitcoin how much bitcoin will correct right now I do not feel like this is something we should be worried about. And I want to think and I feel like we are going to 46-47k. First of all, the 46k is the resistance level of the Bitcoin bull market support band. Okay, around there right now it sits and the top line sits at around 49 k Okay, so I believe that we are going to see the swing high. Secondly, um, we are not going to see something like a crazy correction going on towards the below 28k before having a nice swing high of relief, before having this swing high that will let altcoins and Bitcoin breathe, that will let altcoins and Bitcoin go even, even higher. I will explain the next support levels for Bitcoin right now. Let's go to the daily frame back again. And you can see that for Bitcoin, what we have right now is that we are going to see the 36.8K in which we lost the support level. Right now, we are going down to the 36K in which we might be finding a little bit of a buying pressure. We have the 35.3K on the short term and we could go even to the 343 is that a crash? No. But at the end of the day, I feel like the 34.3 will play out as a very, very nice support level. And I do not think that we are going further down. The only thing that can happen, which has low chance, but it could happen, is to form now a bullish RSA divergence. That means for Bitcoin, yes, we are going even lower. Towards below 30s again, the price will get lower than the 30. 2.9k maybe going to the 31.4 and then from there we start our way all the way higher there that you think that we are going down from the 28 there that all hopes will be gone then you start the swing high and then you have altcoins pumping up as well and you have many many altcoins going higher as well but what i feel about on bitcoin right now is that we are going um down to the 36k 35.3 and so on to 34 Point three. Okay, so eventually, yes, maybe we are going to 34.3, but we are going to stop there. The most probable scenario is that. Okay, and of course, the 33 point, uh, the 33k is a great support level for Bitcoin. Therefore, the very bullish scenarios that have Bitcoin to follow the flat running pattern and go even even higher than the 69k, I feel like they are wrong as well as. The very very scenarios that are saying that right now Bitcoin, yeah, it is going to crash down all the way to the 14k. Not even possible without having a swing high first. I'm not talking about the 28k. Yes, I feel like that we might be exploring the 28k uh, soon enough, maybe, you know, after the swing high that we are going to have 
towards the 46-47k, yes, you should be careful because around this area right here, we might be building some euphoria, okay, and we are going towards the 46-47k, dropping down from there, then we get back down, and then we are having a very, very huge correction on the time being. Many short positions are taken again. Bitcoin USDT, and I feel like, yes, we are going to drop down towards this level, maybe a little bit lower. Of course, the 5% was not something that you want, but it is better that we saw it on the start of this cross right here, and it's better that we didn't see it on the last few support levels before we go down. I feel like that we are going higher, okay, but at the end of the day, you should be careful if you have profits by the time that we go up to the 46-47k, take your profits many altcoins are in a baseline where we are going to see a very nice swing high and i'm going to have a video if you want to you can write in the comment section down below and of course thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are see you soon with many many more videos bye